do help others help themselves. Now, I actually served as a Peace Corps volunteer from 1998 to 2000 in the Solomon Islands in the South Pacific, and one of the main goals over there was to basically help others help themselves. We provided a trained staff uh, of educated individuals that were going over to an underserved area and helping them basically become established themselves, and you know, so that they eventually could have the same ideas. Um, as far as train staff as well, that they could carry on once we left. So um, kind of interesting, ties a little bit into here. Chapter 22 of Stephen Schusler's, uh book, It's a Jungle in There, the title is Help Others Achieve Their Goals. And the quote of the book, or quote of the, excuse me, of the book of the, uh, the chapter is from the infamous Brian Tracy. It says, successful people are always looking for opportunities to help others unsuccessful people are, are always asking what's in it for me which is kind of interesting just because uh, over the last couple chapters we kind of hit on that idea of what's in it for me that people are always looking for that like why would I want to do something for you you know what's what's my benefit if I'm going to help you out today now yeah the, it, there's there's interesting facts there that you do want to benefit of course like you know who doesn't want to get some money out of a sale However, do you want to develop the relationship that might turn into, you know, an exponential sale? There might be, you know, a huge idea that the two of you come up with together, or maybe you and I come up with together that's going to be, you know, a million times greater than you just buying, you know, a $20 product that I make a commission on today. You know, yeah, it's going to be nice now, the instant gratification, but we really want to make everyone happy in the long run. Okay, so what can you do to better somebody else? That's the real deal. So the self-examining question, are you willing to help others, excuse me, help other people succeed even when it's not a requirement of your job to be of an assistance? So, you know, what are you doing to help other people out? Yeah, don't just go in with the mindset that I'm going to do, you know, position A or help someone out doing this job because I know they're going to expect something back. You know, if you think about people and friends that will go help each other out, are you just doing it out of the kindness of your heart because you're a great friend or are you helping them move or helping them paint something because you know that they're going to owe you a favor later on? You know, if you do that whole idea like, oh, well, you owe me, that's not going to be a great relationship that's being built and it's not going to be a trustworthy relationship either. You're just going to be more of a, of a business relationship instead of, you know, excuse me, developing a genuine relationship where in the long run you're going to help serve each other. And again, it's not about, you know, the want or the need. It's just about doing it because you're a kind person. And, you know, in the previous chapter we talked about making someone feel special. You're going to want to do that just because you're a great person and you go above and beyond what it's needed so that down the road, yeah, it's going to come back. It's going to come back many many times over, you know, when you continue to help people out, that's when you start to really become successful by helping other people meet all their needs before your own. Now, it's important that you do take care of your basis first. You got to establish and make sure, you know, you are taken care of and you continue to make money so you continue to uh, have all these experiences. But again, the more you can help other people, the more that's going to come back and help you in the end. So again, help others achieve their goals. This has been Dave Gardner.